Welcome back, people. Yes, I've done it. I've got the final book in the series. There's like, if you go on Amazon and purchase this book, or you purchase the um, HTML and CSS, or you purchase the uh, PHP and MyScore book, you will get a suggestion you should buy these three. Now, okay, I did do this. I wanted the first book I reviewed, I think was the HTML and CSS, and it, I brought this mainly for a reference. I know exactly, you know, what to do with HTML. So I, I used, I brought, I brought this for actually reference. That's that book. I wanted this book because um, I wanted to brush up on my PHP and my scroll. I was struggling with a bit of my scroll uh, to re research some points within it. And PHP, I'm just refreshing my memory because, you know, things change. But I worked out that these books were, I think, published 2014. And I took my web development uh, degree in 2015. So I was not winging it. I was like brand new to PHP, brand new to my school, brand new to PHP admin, brand new to coding, and brand new to another subject that I spent the first year doing, which was JavaScript. And if I had this book... For that year, first year of the degree, that it's all JavaScript, it's all basic fun fundamental programming uh, concepts. Fundamental, as you get, you get fundamental programming uh, in this one, PHP. You get fundamental programming in this one, like I said in the last review of that book. But you also get fundamental programming in JavaScript. And uh, if I had this book for that year. I won't have breezed it. You still got to, there's the word I want you to remember when learning code, the understanding bit, yeah? The understanding of it. So you can see the code, you can see people, examples, blah, blah, blah. All of that's like, it, it feels like it's like gobbledygook to you, complete gobbledygook. And you can see something working great, but if you don't understand it and don't get to grips with the understanding of the code, you're not going to progress further and write your own scriptures. It's going to be, hope you know, it can be like some other coders. I mean, I'm guilty of this too, which is copy and pasting, copy and pasting all the people's bits of code to get things working for you. And then if you can work out where to stick it and etc. Cetera, etc., cetera, the thing works. Happy days. You don't want fully doing that. You don't understand JavaScript. You can do JavaScript, but you don't fully understand JavaScript. And that's what this book does uh, it doesn't it's, it's in its bundles but let's turn the page anyway and start with uh, the first thing i want to talk about and that's from the very first table of contents uh contents uh chapter one is the abc of programming the basics basic javascript instructions functions methods objects decisions and loops document object model events he, he goes into jquery was like a library of JavaScript stuff that you can just hook into and use within your within your website. So it's like a jQuery is like a, a JavaScript library, and you just choose which ones you want to include. Uh, you've got Ajax or Ajax, yeah, Ajax and JSON. I call it JSON. Uh, APIs, error handling and debugging, content panels, filtering, searching and sorting. Now that I Never did until my FYP in my web, web development course degree. I never did any of that. So that was an eye-opener to see this in here. And if I, I said, if I had, even if I had this book for my FYP, I think it would have made it a little bit easier to try and get the concepts that I needed to do for my final year's project. And then chapter 13, form enhancement and validation. Brilliant book, all the way through, brilliant. At the bottom of the contents page, you'll see a thing that says, try out and download the code in this book. Code download, JavaScript. For this book, yeah, just trust me, go to visit javascriptbook.com and download the samples. You're going to need to look at the examples because there's certain things in the book that uh, don't actually go forward. I'll show you that in a minute anyway. But download the samples. If you're brand new to JavaScript and you're buying this book to learn JavaScript, you need somewhere to put it. You need some somehow to display this. So 
just trust me if you're brand new to it download it and then you can see all these workings out all the code to this book is inside this thing so get that um what you don't get inside these those files is him explaining it step by step and you get that again it's 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 john ducky you i love the guy absolutely love the guy he's brilliant in explaining stuff so if you're brand new to javascript the first bits are teaching you about the birth of javascript why we use javascript some basic references for html and css and then you start on chapter one which is uh the abc of programming and it's just going to teach you about scripts about different things etc etc okay so i think when you've got past the usual stuff and this it looks like you're not learning anything by reading these uh stuff these boring to me when i first started doing program and i looked at this stuff and i thought it's boring stuff i don't need to learn this stuff give us the code man just give us the code but yeah you have to read this stuff then you can have a little bit more grasp on it you know what i mean it adds a little bit more to it understanding how to formulate your own scripts yeah is a is a building block and literally a foundation layer of you writing your own scripts this is why i advocate you slow down at this point it says there designing if you can read that on there it says designing a goal and designing the script do it sketching out sketching out the tasks in a flow chart i did this for my fyp to show my progress in into the starting point to the midway term to the final outcome of the code that worked so there's like three stages to writing a script one is what's the problem what are you trying to solve blah 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 blah, blah. have some sort of brainstorm on how your problem might have different uh, tangents and then you've got to work into your code what how to replicate and sort out those different tangents and different options or different uh responses and then you're going to have a response a response to those responses if there is one and then you carry then you carry on and write the code then you've got to debug the code and then test the code it goes on if you're doing a really complicated thing this this thing here called a flow chart for your code have a look at it reread it and my my top advice even at this point of the book i mean i, I was going to talk about it down down below a bit further on but i'll do it on this one here yes john duckett right takes you to a point that says sketching out the tasks in a flow chart i've just read that to you people yeah i've just described to you the importance of doing a tasks in a flow chart but take his concept of tasks in a flow chart here read it stop go on go on to, go on and go into the internet or on the internet and look at other people and how they use it, how they do this and look at more complicated flow charts how how they work so take a concept that he teaches you and then go and do your own research elsewhere so this was designing uh designing a goal designing a, the script have a look at other blogs there's lots of information out there to describe these first steps designing a, a script steps you know, I'll, I'll read this now because we're on, we're on this topic of, of, of actually doing a flow chart of working it out remove used bedding wipe all services vacuum floors fit new bedding remove used towels and soaps clean toilet da, 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 place new towels and soaps wipe bathroom floor and this is the the, the thing for an hotel cleaner <laughs> see what i mean and there's the flow chart can you see that there's his flow chart of the answers yes no etc so you need to learn how to do this sort of stuff so take that first chapter the very first chapter the abc of programming and slow down with that what that very first chapter i can tell you now if you could work if you can write an essay for two thousand words or more and keep going and really understand the first chapter you're going to set yourself up for the understanding of javascript throughout the book so let's crack on uh, yeah you've got to look at different bits in the book that uh these teach you now about javascript objects properties within javascript now 
Yeah, you can read all that. That's that's that. You have to understand those bits. Same with them. Once you've learned or you've read his bits for events, then go and research events inside. Like the J, there's a thing called the JavaScript manual or the JS manual out there. PHP has got a manual. JavaScript has a manual. HTML has a manual out there online, free a free resource that you can open and visit and open and read. And they've even got tutorials on there. So if you want to learn about events and blah blah blah, you can do that inside that manual too. But don't forget, read the concept here, understand understand the concept, and then take that understanding a little bit further by doing some more research. I highly recommend that. Uh, let's get on to doing some coding, shall we? And yeah, I mean, it's a perfect page actually. I mean, here's your first page. It says creating creating a basic JavaScript, and then it's got linking. This is an important bit actually. Linking to a JavaScript file from an HTML page. Now, okay, here's the HTML. Yeah. Here is the this is the JavaScript, and here's the HTML that links this file to this, and it displays it at the bottom, and this is what you should see. Okay, this is why I say to get yours looking exactly like this, you need to get these images. So you may as well go back to that download button, which should be right there. You may as well go down to the download thing on his website and just download them. And then instead of you typing this out, understand the concept first read his explanation take a good look have a notepad and a pen next door to you and write some notes down if you want to i advise you to write something down that seems important i'll write that down uh and go through the process then take the understanding a little bit further and learn it from online from other so other resources but either way you can just make out a file structure there i'll bring it up Hopefully you can see that and you can see it. But basically there, it takes you about the file structure, what it should look like. But basically, in a basic term, you could just have a, a folder, name it something. Inside that folder, you have a JS folder, a, C, a CSS folder, yeah? And then you'd have the HTML files that links to these two. Simple. You've got that in there anyway. Do you know what I mean? This is, I mean, it needs to be talked about file structure because it's important. Um, but all the way through the book, you've got this like, here's the HTML, here's the JavaScript. All the way through virtually to the point of uh, a few few other chapters. As, they, as each ch chapter finishes, right, let's find the end. Is that chapter two? We're in chapter two, aren't we? Here we are. This is still the end of chapter. Chapter one was the basics of programming, blah, blah, blah. This is the chapter two. Thank you, chapter two. Here we are. This is when you get to the end of the chapter of chapter two, you get a summary of what you've learned. Okay, a summary of what you've learned from chapter two. And if you roll back a little bit, you get this uh, like a crescendo bit at the end. So yeah, with string operators using string operators, and then we come to this page, which is like every every single thing you've learned in chapter two. He's now going to teach you in an example. And every chapter has something at the end that says a crescendo. This is what you've learned here, all those little chunks of information and things that you need to learn. And now we're going to build it into a, an example using all of this stuff you've just learned. And the form he sticks to, which I think is absolutely amazing. This is it. This, yeah. This bit here, if I can get that light to be here, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Sort of. Here you can see HTML. That is example.html, and that's in the chapter 02 file. We have the we have HTML. Over here we have the JavaScript. And this is JavaScript is in the CO2 file folder. A JS folder, and inside the JS folder, we've got an example JS, and this is the JavaScript that this is linking to. So we've got this and this. Brilliant! This is fantastic. I can see where the JavaScript. I can see how, how HTML is laid out. 
I can have a go at this. Brilliant. I can see how that's laid out. And I can see all this bit here, which is the JavaScript that makes funky things work within the HTML side of the display side, if you like. That's brilliant. And he does this throughout the book. But then for some unknown reason, some of the chapters, when you get to the end, this is the end. This is the end of chapter four. No, so it's actually chapter five I wanted to talk about. This is why I've got the tag here. Because it's not just this one chapter. There's other chapters that do this. If I get to the end of chapter five, chapter five, there's chapter end of chapter five. Forget the events for now. We're going to talk about all that in a minute anyway. But this is this is the end of chapter five. If I turn back, right? If I turn back, we get this, the crescendo. Everything you've just learned in chapter five about the document object model over here, right? Ah, I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get the HTML and I'm going to get the JavaScript. Let me have a look. Um, no, you don't. No, no, no. You don't get that. You get javascript and javascript where's the html where's the html where's, where's he gone don't, don't they get the html it's, it's completely not it's not there what's going on see what i mean it, it fails john failed there in my view someone who's never touched javascript before right but knows a bit of html that's great but now what does this relate to there's no where's he gone and you think yourself as it have I, have I, am I thicko? Am I a stupid man? Am I not doing it? Am I not reading the boot ride? And I looked at this and it says, this example brings together a selection of the techniques you have, be, you have seen throughout the chapter to update the contents of a list. It has three main aims. Well, we'll show us the HTML then. But if you download, here's the surprising bit. If you download the examples, from the book uh i'll get it again so you can see it for the for the benefit of my point if you download the examples for this and look inside chapter 5 js you you see the example js inside the js folder but as you scroll scroll a little bit down inside the chapter 5 folder you will find an example html and if you click the html uh, full file of you know the, the html file itself and double click it it opens in chrome and you see that you see this but in this in this final crescendo to this chapter he doesn't show you that he doesn't show you the html so this is why i say at the beginning it's important to download the downloadables because then you can see the html then you can understand it better John's let any newbies out there to JavaScript are going to find this a bit not right. There should have been an H, there should have been HTML here and the JavaScript there. Look how, how these two boxes that could have gone there, that could have gone there, and you could have carried on the you could have explained this a bit more over the page and then bring it But for some one reason, even this could have been down here somewhere. Something they could have put an in information there to say, Look, in the downloadables, you could have put it there. In the downloadables, you'll find the HTML file that corresponds to this code. It would have been one line of text at the top, one line job done. But John, I think you let yourself down here. You let you let your people who buy this book down by not including some form of HTML. I've read every part of this, it doesn't say about the example HTML, it doesn't do it. So sort of in a flux about it. So I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark the book down for that point. So that's why I say if you are going to buy this book to learn JavaScript and jQuery, you are going to have to download the downloadables to learn, to have a fuller understanding of chapter five. And I think chapter six does this. And chapter seven does this. I think chapter eight does this. APIs, there is no crescendo at the end of the chapter. It's just... He's teaching you bits within it. Uh, another chapter that I would say take your time on and spend. A, I have spent a couple of weeks on chapter ten. Error handling and debugging. It's it's the most boring. It's so, so boring. Everyone just avoids it like the plague. They they hate error handling and debugging. 
I hate learning it. I don't want to learn it. But if you don't have the techniques and the understanding of error handling and debugging, you'll never get to the point where you can actually find out why your code doesn't work. If you go and write code out and it doesn't work, if you could find that error by error handling and debugging, you have a chance. If you, do, if, if, you've, if you are the person that said, oh, I don't want to learn error handling and debugging, oh, forget that crap, that's boring, I fall a kip, you're going to struggle. But if you're the person that says, I want to get, a, I want to get a grips, grips with this. So chapter 10 is a very, very important chapter. And John does an, an excellent job in teaching you error handling debugging. Then we move on to content panels, filtering, searching and sorting. And then, like I said before, form announcement. Either way, people, it gets more down for that crescendo bit at the end without the HTML for some of them. These ones do get HTML and then the JavaScript. But then as, you, as, you, as, as the boot continues by chapter by chapter, the crescendo bit at the end that, co that takes all the concepts within that chapter and then says, here, now, here's the learning bit now. This, you've learned all the different concepts. Let's put all those concepts together. Happy days. But no, no HTML page. <laughs> That's why I say download the downloadables. Download the downloadables. So... Basically, though, people, it's, it is, other than that one gripe about that side, it is a fantastic, brilliant book. And if you've never touched JavaScript before, I highly recommend this book to you. It gets an 8 out of 10 from me. 8. I would give it a 9, but it dropped with that HTML page. I can never give a book a 10 unless it really pushed my understanding to the next level. And this does, this does... But I'm just so disappointed. I can never give a book, any books 10 out of 10. But this come close, I'm going to give it an 8. An 8. And probably give you a, a, a mark for PHP and MySQL. I'm going to give it again. I'm going to give this like an 8 or a 9 for this one. Um, I said I wouldn't give a book a 10. But do you know what? I'm going to give this book a 10. This one gets a 10 out of 10. If you've ever touched the basics of HTML or CSS before, you need to buy this book. If you've got a friend, a daughter, a son, uh, someone who's starting their road in web, on the web and they've never touched HTML and CSS before, then I give this a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10 book, regardless. And again, I think even in this it, it starts with the point where you can actually download the downloadables. I think you can. Somewhere here, there is some sort of download thing. There it is. You can see it. Try out and download all the code for this book online at... Da -da -da -da. So, go get it, people. If you want a, a, a book that I recommend as 10 out of 10, it is this one. But for, if you want to learn JavaScript, gee, what a great start. Great start. John does a fantastic job in this book uh, in teaching the concepts, fundamentals, breaking down the concepts. There's nothing wrong with anything. All of it is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Just that one little gripe about not showing us the, the HTML page inside the book. Other than that, people, this is one of the best JavaScript, or if not the best JavaScript books I've ever brought. Yes, he does touch on jQuery, the library, but uh, this is about JavaScript. The majority of this book, in fact, all of this hefty weight, there's a lot of pages, people, a lot of pages. It's a hefty weight. It's all about JavaScript. So if you've never touched JavaScript before, this is your book. You need to buy this book. But don't forget to do one thing. When you do buy the book, download those uh, samples. It, everything's there for you. All the structure. You don't even need to write the code out. You just read the chapter, read those con concepts, open those concepts up inside your downloadable file and look at the code and, and try and get that understanding. So hopefully you've enjoyed my uh review and my little uh, talk about JavaScript and jQuery by John Duggett. Highly recommend it. I give it an 8 out of 10. It's a fantastic book. And if you've watched all the, this all the way through, I want to say thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in a very special edition next time. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now.